Let's take a look at this example scenario. A crossover occurs from pages 16 to 17 in a book. As a designer, I can control what that crossover looks like because the pages literally touch in InDesign. However, when I send my files to my local commercial printer, they caution me that pages 16 and 17 will print on two different press forms. Why does that matter? It matters because colors can shift while printing. Even if pages 16 and 17 are printed right next to each other on the same press sheet, there is always a possibility that color can shift during the press run. Now imagine random sheets of the same signature are pulled and compared side by side. The color of page 16 can be slightly different from the first and the last sheet printed, causing additional headaches while trying to keep color consistency in the finished book. Last, let's consider that the pages that will be bound next to each other, like 16 and 17, are not printed at the same time or possibly even the same day because they land on two different signatures. This adds another level to the complexity of matching color when printing and assembling a book. Having basic knowledge of printer spreads can assist in decision making as it involves crossovers like these. Almost all books are printed and bound as 16 page signatures. Every 16 pages starts a new press form. Instead of designing the book with a crossover from pages 16 or 17, which is almost guaranteed to print on two different press forms, I can choose to use a crossover on two pages that will be on the same signature. Or better yet, I can print them on the same side of the same signature. Or even better yet, we can print them right next to each other on the same side of the press sheet. If they're literally touching, we do not have to worry about the crossover lining up when we bind the book. Looking at that same 16 page signature that we've been looking at for the last few slides, I want to point out a few things. First, this would work if we're using 16 page signatures and we're using stacked binding, meaning we are going to stack the signatures so that pages 1 through 16 are in the first signature, 17 through 32 are in the second, etc. And once I know that, I can number the pages on the signature and figure out that of this signature, the only two pages that have a true crossover, where you're going to cross over from the left-hand page to the right-hand page, is pages 8 and 9. Now, 10 and 11 and 14 and 15, they also touch, but they're actually, if you were to fold this signature down, they're touching on the wrong side of the sheet. The numbers are backwards. But in order for the signature to work, to fold down, to create a signature where when you're done the pages are all in the right order, you have to put page 10 on the right hand side of page 11 and page 14 on the right hand side of page 15 when it really should be switched. 